Demi, what's up, my friend? Uh, Candace Frank. Hey, Candace. Hey, Candace Frank. <laughs> Demi. Demi. Hey, Demi. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? 
Uh, it's Deidre Murray. Uh, let's find out what this what that song was. Um, it's by a guy named Foisy. So F O I S E Y, and the song is called "Find My Way." Um, but he really just makes beats. So he's like a uh, he like makes. He makes beats and sometimes he loops people singing in it. So, um, yeah. So, good morning. Um, happy Wednesday. Middle of the week. We made it. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Praise God. You know what I mean? We Who, who knew we make it to Wednesday? Um, so, Alicia, what's up? Um, and so, we've been talking about consistency this week. And so, the first day, I believe, we talked... We just talked about consistency and, and, and the idea of being where people, um, being in a spot where people can can bank on you being, being where you're supposed to be, um, being consistent and and showing up and being present in the areas where you where you made people believe that you would be right. And um, and then yesterday we talked about um, we talked about the yesterday guys process process right trust in the process right and so. Falling in love with consistency, not 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 just the task, not making it a task, but understanding the the and falling in love with the process of of, of consistency, right? In in order to uh, make the the shooting past the task, right? So we talked about athletes. Uh, they they don't train to win a gold medal. They they're training to be the best athlete. And musicians don't train to you know, make a great album or make a great piece. They train to be great musicians. And in, in, in route to being that, they hit those checkpoints anyway. They they sell albums, they 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 win awards, they but that stuff in route to 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 where they're ultimately trying to get, which allows them their work ethic to be consistent enough to withstand trials and and these, and this and this is what we're gonna talk about today. And so uh the title of the day was Let the Beat Bill, right? And so, um, I have a question, right? We'll start off real quick question. A couple questions, actually. From what point in the day do you start to build or, or create your groove, right? Um, so that's question number one. When do you start to feel like you're in a groove, right? Have you ever been taken out of your groove, right? Have you ever been taken out of your, you know what I'm saying, y'all? Ever been taken out of your, you was in your, you know what I'm saying? You reached your your little, your ways of the day and you got into it. Somebody took you out of your groove, right? And so out of your groove, how are you? How, how do you operate out of your groove, right? When you're, when you're out, when that, when that, that consistent, that routine isn't right in the morning, when you a little, when traffic hits you bad, how does, how do you, how different are you, right? How do you react? How do you respond, right? How do you engage? Are you still as engaging as you are when everything is, you know, clicking on all cylinders, right? How do you engage when you're outside of your groove, right? And see, because we talk about consistency, and, 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 and I think the point that we're going to hit on today is that when consistency is committed to, right, even in its most remedial levels, it creates what we call momentum, right? And so... And, and this is this is big. This is big. This this creates what we call momentum. And we all like momentum, right? Like we we all we all like to be in a flow. We don't like to not know what's about to happen. We don't like to be adrift. We don't like to guess. We don't like to not know. That's why most of y'all get up in the morning. Y'all turn to the news so y'all can see when the traffic's flowing. Y'all see when to leave your house. You see when things are gonna be best time for you to have the smoothest day so you can be in that groove and create that momentum for a great day, right? And so what is momentum? Momentum is the quantity of motion of a moving body measured as a product of its mass and velocity, right? It is the impetus gained by a moving object. See, see, momentum is built, right? Mo momentum is, is something that's built, it's worked toward, right? Momentum doesn't just happen off the rip, right? So it's, it's built towards, it's, it's, you, you start to build up the steam to, to have this, 
this this thing where your groove, where you working now. You know what I'm saying? Every you you checking off boxes. You ain't even this wasn't even in your plan, but you just moving. You found out you so productive today. Like everything's so smooth. You checking all. You hitting checkpoints at the checkpoints. You know what I'm saying? And so, what I think the issue is right is that we all want we all we all like a momentum, right? We like a good momentum. But I think too many times we look to create a momentum by starting off at top speed. And so think, think about this, right? And, and Okay, so we, we try to start off at top speed. And so what happens when you try to start off at top speed, one of two, one of two things happens, right? We either think, we, we look at it. We look at the idea of something being at, joining something that is at top speed already. We either think about the level of intensity we're about to have to engage in and scare ourselves away from it in the beginning, right? That's one. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is we either go ahead, jump into it, right? And 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 soon after we realize that this pace is in no way sustainable, and you're done. So you quit early, right? You get into it, but it's so you at top, you at top speed, and it. It's just, I can't sustain this. Like, this is just too much off the jump, right? And so, we've all we've all used a tread, we've all heard of a treadmill. <laughs> I can't say that we've all used the treadmill. I was that was an assumption I've made, but maybe we've seen treadmills in action. A lot of y'all, we a lot of us got treadmills rusting away in our basements and stuff. But that that's neither here nor there, right? And so how, what speed do you see a uh, when you see a treadmill used? At what speed is it usually being used? At? It's either in a slow or a moderate pace, right? And so, what is the what is the point of that? What is the point of the of the pace of the treadmill being at moderate speed, right? Um, and so, oh, you can probably put on that uh, Wi-Fi. Oh. Yeah. Um, but what is, what is the point of it being used at the moderate speed? This is it because. Y- it's something that eases you in, right? And it gives you, it allows you to build a sort of confidence in the idea that what you're doing, what you're working out, like the workout that you're in, that it is sustainable, right? And so the moderate pace, it it, it gets you in a groove. It works you into a groove. And so you start to build the confidence that, okay, I can, I can continue to do this. I can do this tomorrow. I can do this the day after. You know what I'm saying? And so that's it. Like you, have you ever, right? Have you ever tried to jump on a treadmill when it's already at top speed? Have you, have you ever just hopped on a treadmill? You seen that thing, you turned it, you cranked it up all the way to whatever, 24 miles, 25 miles an hour. Let that, you ever put the treadmill, just let it run. Just turn the treadmill on at top speed and let the thing run, right? It's the, it can be one of the scariest things ever to just look at a treadmill running at top speed, right? And so, you know what it looks like when you when you look at a treadmill running? It looks like when you're inside of a car, if you would just open up your car door and look at the ground when you're on the highway going 50, 60 miles an hour, open up your car door, look out and look at the floor. That's, that's kind of how it looks when a treadmill is going at top speed, right? And so... And so that's the the fear, right? And so from my experience, right, as a very young man, right, a very young man, what happens when you attempt to jump on a treadmill that is moving at top speed, this something like this, something like this might, could happen, right? Your your, your pants or your shoestrings, you know, they get get caught up in the belt or or the little platform, right? Um, you, you lose your footing, right? And, and then the machine spits you out and has your, your, your body as your, as it spits you off of the machine, your body takes the form, the shape of a crash dummy. Like, this is my experience as a very young man, right? This was yesterday. Um, (laughs) you hop or, right? You hop on. Manage to catch on to the speed, and in a couple of seconds, you hop off, off to the side as you contemplate that working out may, quite frankly, not be something you're interested in. 
right? And so our scripture for today is 1 Samuel 17, 48, right? And it's talking about, you know, David and Goliath, right? And it's, it talks about David's approach when, when, when it was time for, for battle. And, and as Goliath came, the Philistine, he came, Goliath came out to meet David. David ran out. So David said, when the Philistine came toward, to meet David, David quickly ran toward the battle line to meet the Philistine. As he started to take his rocks out, started to gather that momentum. He's already, he's charging up. He's already there, right? He's, he's building, right? And so David had no hesitations, right? And you know why David had no hesitations at what we would call peak, un, peak discomfort, you know, this is peak discomfort for a lot of us. And so he had no hesitations because over the smaller things in life, he got, he had seen God be consistent in being with him in, in trials and and and, and uh, when there was traffic in the morning, when, when he was trying to get to work, he, he'd seen God be be faithful enough to to keep his days in line, to keep a keep him keep him clean, you know what I'm saying? He didn't he didn't God was faithful in the small things, being consistent. So when David had small issues, he saw the rapport, he built the rapport with with God coming coming through. And, and 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 so when it got when things got big, David ran right out there. David was good for the battle. He didn't care what was, what was good because he'd seen that that his confidence had grown through his consistency, right? And so today, and we done. This is our application, right? Our application for today is you've got to start small, right? Start small. And not always because you cannot handle it, right? But because in time, it'll get to the point where the intensity that you're operating at isn't second. It, it can't become second nature enough for you to remain committed when your circumstances change. Right. Or when adversity hits. Right. It, it's, it's that that level of intensity that you hopped in at. It's not sustainable enough for you, for you, for it, for it to become second nature enough for you to be able to weather storms and stay committed in that consistency. Right. And so. So so start small. Right. Because what you'll find is that it's wiser to start small because it allows for abnormalities in your schedule. It allows for it allows for a bit of discomfort. It allows for a bit of uh, oh man, you threw me off. Um, I wasn't expecting that. It allows for it allows for a little like oh man, like okay, she kind of said something slick, you know what I'm saying? But I'm good because what I what I've committed myself to, it's within my I can I can deal with that. I, I've started off small, and so what you want to do is 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 start sickness, right? You think sickness, you t you tired and. You, how many things do we let uh, allow to dictate how our day goes, right? So sickness, I feel bad, you know what I'm saying? Bad day at work. How does that sometimes affect you when you get home and with your families? How, how does that how does that happen, right? Um, disagreement with a with a spouse, with a friend, with a child, right? How does that how does that take a toll on the rest of your day? And so I think as we continue to to Given to consistency and 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 really and really try to learn what it is to be consistent and and how to become consistent. Um, I think you realize that if you start off small, it's easier or it's less likely for you to ever have to drop it, for you to ever have to totally become inconsistent or to uh, throw it off because what we were talking about earlier was that when you go for intensity, the risk is higher for you to just throw it away and never come back to it. Right. Um, and so our application for today is to, is, to, is to start small. And so we've been talking about consistency this whole week. It's, it's been about loving, showing love, now this stuff is applicable everywhere. It's applicable if you're a leader in your business, or not even a leader, if you employee, right? Whatever, whatever. It's applicable everywhere. But what I'm talking about from the from the 
core, the core of this, all this lesson this week is that be consistent in showing somebody love. And so to start off small, think about not that you got to change everybody's life in a day. Um, not that you have to, you know what I'm saying? Dive into everybody's life and grab hold of everybody and make their life perfect today. But just try with one. Try try one person. Try to try to make somebody's day a little easier. And, and I and I, I think you'll find that over time, if you commit to that one thing, right, you'll you'll build up you'll you'll build up some resolve. You'll 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 build up um some endurance. That'll that'll allow you in time to to open your 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 window of of consistently loving people, and you'll be you'll look back and we talked about our quote from C.S. Lewis yesterday that the fact that day by day nothing seems to change, but when you look back, everything's different. Everything's different, and so in in time, you'll realize and you'll look back and you'll say. Oh my gosh, you'll, you'll realize that people will look to you and they'll be like, yo, you changed my life. And if you're like me, you'll think that it's the it's the it's the craziest experience in the world to have somebody think that you had anything to do with the trajectory of not even their life, but a day uh, of of a week. And because it's like we talk about. All of life is an attached accumulation. And so it seeps into your house, your relationships. Um, it's not a dead end. It doesn't stop anywhere. It, it's ever flowing. It it seeps into everything, anything you're involved in. And so take that today. I want to challenge us all today to one person. One person, whether it's a a good morning text, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whether it's a, it's, it's doing a little, just doing a little extra something out of your comfort zone to make somebody else's comfort greater. Just try that for a day um, and, and, fo and focus on that. Focus on smart, starting small, starting small. And I think when you look back, when you look back, you'll realize that things are a lot different, that a lot has changed. Uh, a lot in your life has changed. A lot in other people's lives have changed. And you'll realize it's because you committed to, you, you've been consistent, right? And so thank you. We're going to pray out. Um, Lord God, I thank you um, for this opportunity as always, Lord God. I thank you um, for for fellowship, Lord God. I thank you for community, Lord God. I thank you for, um, I thank you for your example of love, Lord God. I thank you for, um, just showing us what it means to care about what other people care about, Lord God. And, and I thank you for, for what that looks like. I, I thank you for the fruit of consistency. I thank you for, for showing that and being that model of consistency time and time again, Lord God. I pray that you will allow us all to just inch by inch be consistent in love at the workplace in our households, in our conversations, that that will be consistent in our love, and 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 so that after time, just like working out, that in time when we look back, we'll be different. We'll we'll we'll, we'll realize how much we've grown. Um, just be in understanding that just because it hasn't it hadn't been measured day to day, that it's just as real. And that the, the results from it are long lasting. They last way past wherever we thought a quick fix would get us, um, Lord God. And so I just, I thank you for everyone today, Lord God. I pray that you would keep everybody safe, um, that you would keep everybody committed, Lord God, that you would keep everybody um, just focused on you and, and chasing you, Lord God, every day, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all have a great day. Um, thank y'all for coming in. Have a great one. Beat that traffic, but don't let it mess with your day. <laughs> All right. All right. Y'all have a good one.
That's what we do. We click mm-hmm. and pull this down, right? Up. I didn't mess. Up. What I do? Get to, to finish on that. Okay, finish it.